Hello, I'm Titian Palazzi with Snowflake. I lead our power and utilities go-to-market within the industry go-to-market team. In the world of electricity markets, price volatility is immense with changes up to a thousand-fold in a single day. Forecasting errors can lead to millions of dollars of losses for individual companies in individual days. And this underscores the need for precise predictions of demand, energy production, and prices. Snowflake helps you address this by offering a diverse set of forecasting solutions. Our marketplace offers partner-generated forecasts, and we also equip customers to build and deploy their own forecasting models. Today's video demonstrates exactly how you can do this. In this demo, we'll show you how to build and deploy a price forecasting model to forecast real-time price in Texas for the next 48 hours. Hi, everyone. I'm Naveen, Senior Cloud Architect at Snowflake, working for Industry Solutions team. Let's look at the architecture of the solution. The end-to-end -end solution can be built purely using native Snowflake features. The sample data that is available is also in Marketplace for everyone to use. So you can use, uh, you can build the solution end-to-end -end using Snowflake trial account. So let's jump into the architecture. So as you can see, the sources of uh, for this solution is S Energy, which you see in the far left in the architecture. Then we do data exploration, and then we do uh, forecasting, back testing, and then finally uh, deploy the model and then do the inferencing. So all these uh, steps are performed using Snowpark behind the scenes using Python. And then the front end dashboard is built using Streamlit in a native app framework. So the features, whatever I'm referring here is Snowpark, Streamlit, native apps. If you guys are not aware of these features, the link uh, will be available uh, in the description of this uh, YouTube uh, video where you can, uh, which will take you to the Snowflake documentation to understand more. So we'll see the native app version of the solution. Okay, so native app is nothing but data, the data transformation, and also the dashboard. All the three bundled up together into an application object. And that is uh, a new feature of Snowflake that is available at the moment uh, in GA. And you will all see an apps as a new tab in your Snowflake account where you will see uh, tons of applications. So whatever we are building, we have already, I have already deployed that as an application and that will be available in this apps tab. So in the application, you can clearly see there are multiple steps that we can do, okay? So I'll start from the feature selection. So using the sample data from SNRG, we have different features that are available as part of our uh, previous experimentation. So you can also do this experimentation using notebooks on your own, but we have already done the experimentation and we have uh, uh, selected the features that are gonna impact the time series forecasting uh, for our price, okay? But again, I just wanted to hide, uh, iterate this as well. This is purely on the price forecasting. The solution, uh, whatever we are highlighting here is uh, basically doing time series price forecasting but you can very well do other uh, forecasting as well, like say demand forecasting, uh, et cetera, on this, uh, using the uh, uh, this template, okay? So we have used XGBoost uh, for this uh, model uh, building and training. You can use uh, other uh, packages also, like SkyKit Learn and uh, other uh, packages that are available in Anaconda. So feature selection is the first step. And the, the second step is the data exploration. Based upon the features that you select, you can see this is the data that is available. You can see multiple uh, features tied to a particular timestamp. You can see the data is available for every one hour. And this is just a time series plot of the data. And this is uh, I mean, correlation plot for uh, all the uh, features that we have selected. And once you have done the features uh, exploration, you can do the hyperparameter optimization. Uh, so this is using uh, two Python packages, Optino and CMEAs. Uh, there is a, a, a store procedure uh, which runs behind the scenes to produce this result. 
and uh, with the hyper parameter uh, tuned uh, result we we have done the uh, forecasting and then the back testing so you can select uh, a different date to see how the actuals versus uh, the reality looks like and then uh, you can see the results uh, performance results uh, of this uh, model uh, plotted here uh, is MSE and MAE, uh, some data science numbers plotted as graphs. And the final step is the deployment. So you can select the model that you have uh, built, and then you can select the interval, the frequency in which you need to do the uh, inferencing. And then uh, uh, you can basically provide a target table name where the inferencing results should land. And then basically clicking a deploy model deploys this uh, uh, model as a stored procedure as a UDF function behind the scenes uh, in Snowflake. And then the results are written to this target table. Whatever you are seeing here is uh, from the target table that uh, I've run previously. So you can see the predictions and you can see the actuals. This is a notebook version opened in VS Code. You can see uh, different SQL queries that are being uh, fired using Snowpark in the notebook version, and you can see data frame uh, in the output as well. So this is the notebook version. This is also available as part of the solution. Thank you for watching this demo. If you're interested to learn more, please see a link to the blog in the description of this video. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments.